Lindsey Graham on Capitol Hill on Iran. So uh, here's the deal. Uh, Trump's not the problem, the Ayatollah is. This drone was in international waters. We've been flying patterns like this for months. We're trying to collect intelligence to make informed decisions. <clears throat> we had told the Iranians before they shot the drone down that if you engage against American personnel or assets, you do so at your own peril. Uh, the president does not want a war with Iran or anybody else, <clears throat> but he is the commander in chief. And so when Abe <clears throat> was asked by the president, the prime minister of Japan, to deliver a message to the Iranians, less talk, not only was he rebuffed, they attacked a Japanese ship while the Japanese prime minister is delivering a message from the American president, let's see if we can negotiate. So that tells me all I need to know about the Iranian regime and negotiating. So I talked to the president this morning. I'm going to meet him this afternoon. Senator, Senator uh, what do you tweets that, that Iran what? made a big mistake? <clears throat> they made a big mistake by shooting our drone down. Is that provocative in and of itself to tweet that? No, story? what's provocative is to shoot the drone down. What's provocative is to blow up a Japanese oil tanker with a Japanese uh, prime minister in your office trying to start negotiations with the United States. What's provocative is having your uh, proxies shoot into Saudi Arabia. Trump's not the problem. So here's the way this is headed. If they start enrichment at the levels they're talking about in a few days, Israel over time will have to respond. There's one nation on the planet that's not going to give the Iranians a pass on their nuclear program. That's Israel. Israel will, if they, as a last resort, attack to prevent a nuclear armed Iran. We will come to their aid. Here's what they're trying to do. They're trying to break our will, intimidate us to come to the negotiating table. The president made an offer to negotiate. The response was to attack a Japanese tanker, the emissary of the person chosen to deliver the offer. And last night, they shot down a drone. So here's what Iran needs to get ready for. Severe pain inside their country, that their capabilities pale in comparison to ours. We're not going to let them disrupt navigation of the seas, attack our allies and in U.S. interests without paying a price. So. If they're itching for a fight, they're going to get one. Putting military, militarily, putting militarily, a lot closer today than we were yesterday, and only God knows what tomorrow brings. If next week they go back into enrichment, putting them back on a path to a bomb, which they were on anyway, then that escalates the tension between Israel and Iran. If they do anything else against an American asset, and this president doesn't respond like Ronald Reagan, then that's a signal to North Korea and the entire world we're all talk. So Iran's fate is in their hands, and it's up to them to decide how this ends. So what does this look like when you say the U.S. will aid Israel? Help people understand what does that if mean? Israel, U.S. military involvement? A hundred percent. If they go back into the enrichment business that puts them on an accelerated path to a bomb and Israel has to defend itself against an existential threat, I am confident we will be there. Nobody wants to get there. I'm also confident that we're going to protect the Straits of Hormuz and that we're going to protect American military personnel and civilians on the ground. I'm confident if there's a war with Iran, they lose. I'm confident it would be very devastating to the region will not be pretty, don't want to go there, but what more do you expect the president to do? If he sends the Japanese prime minister to try to restart negotiations and they blow up a Japanese tanker, I don't know what Is to say. Is the take. president prepared to act militarily? I'll let you ask him. You, you, I am you, saying if he does not change the course we're on, then others will act. But he's wanted to. Language. You talked to the president this morning. You'll talk to him later. Yeah. Um, do you believe that he, he, that he believes what you said that we're one step closer potentially to war today? Than I yesterday? think anybody would believe that we're one step closer. They shot down an American asset well within international waters, trying to assess the situation. Um, what are you supposed to do? Just Ronald Reagan took a lot, then he acted. This president's taken a lot from Iran. He was right to get out of a bad deal. He's right to put sanctions on their disruptive behavior throughout the world. He'd like a better deal. 
To me, it's clear that the Iranians are trying to break us between our allies. They're trying to create chaos to up oil prices. And you can't legitimize this way of negotiating. If we do it with Iran, then the next thing that will happen is North Korea will explode a bomb, shoot off a missile, thinking that's the best way to get America back at the table. The president said he wanted to stop here, endless the wars in the Middle East and campaign strategy. All I can tell you, you, you if them you're not willing to stand up to aggression, you're going to get hurt. So ignoring uh, al-Qaeda in, in Afghanistan was not a very good strategy. This is not an endless war. This is a provocative regime that's dismembered the Mideast, that shoots his own people down in the streets, that threatens the existence of the state of Israel. This is an enemy of mankind, and if you're not willing to take this enemy on, you'll regret it because you're going to put all the pressure on Israel. Here's what I believe about Donald Trump. He's a deal maker. He's trying to avoid conflict, but this is truly a defining moment for him. Who else participating? When Obama said to Assad, you better not use chemical weapons, Assad did. The rest is history. Trump has told the Iranians, you cannot disrupt navigation of the seas, you can't attack our interests or our allies. That's an unacceptable way to live in the 21st century. They are testing him. They need to do so at their own peril. If they get away with this, God help us with North Korea and throughout the world. I'm convinced that as a last resort, President Trump will stop this behavior. Are you Does saying that the president advisor, is going to monitor enrichment before deciding to take military action? I'm saying that if they increase enrichment standards, that Israel will begin to change their calculation. So 95% is what you need to get to a bomb. The difference between 3.5 and, and 20 is big. From 20 to 95 is like walking across the street. Well, does he have the right advisor with sir, without a SECDEF? Yeah, I don't think it's a lack of a SECDEF problem. I think the problem is we're trying to find a way to deal with a rogue regime who's a expeditionary force for evil. We're being tested, and here's what I do believe. They know that they will lose. They just don't believe yet uh, that we have... Uh, the, the will to fight back. The day they believe that and they see that, this calms down. Who else would be in that meeting today with the president, Senator?